Hey guys, so I thought I'd uh, give you uh, a bit of a tour of the brewery with regards to what's new, what's not. Um, those of you that have seen the videos will see the differences straight away. Um, but otherwise, yeah, let's just give you a little bit of a show. So, um, my boiler and HLT, they haven't changed, they're still the same. Uh, roughly holding about 55 uh, liters at a time, uh, maybe a little bit more, depends. Well, I'm going to max them out. So, uh, fair size uh, HLT and boil kettle. Um, the big change in the brewery is this beast right here. Um, you've got the SS Brew Tech 20 gallon. Uh, I decided to go over to that because previously I was using. Um, Previously, I was using uh, just a cool box, um, and although it done what I needed it to do, it wasn't very efficient. It had so much dead space in there, and was constantly resulting in airlocks, and it was just a bit of a nightmare because of the way that the uh, inlet valve was, or outlet valve. So in this case, of this bad boy right here is uh, the latest addition and really glad that I did invest in it. Because um, I'm also want to look into doing bigger size batches, uh, so double batch uh, volumes, just so that I can have a beer for a little bit longer. Um, I'm still dialing in the, uh, the, the change to the brew with regards to it. I've done a couple of uh, brews off of it. Um, both of them, I've still got to work out the sparge a little bit better on it. Uh, with me, uh, my old cool box, I just used to do batch sparging, and it's a case of um, with this one, I can still do that, uh, obviously, but it's a case of I was trying to fly sparge, and it just wasn't quite going right. But anyway, that's the, the big beast of a thing right there that's a uh, the big change. The other big change to the brewery is how I'm cooling down the. Uh, the war at the end of the day. Previously I was using an immersion uh, copper chiller. I now have this little bad boy down here. Uh, so lovely little plate chiller. Um, this case of uh, is it more efficient? Yes. Is it a bastard to clean? Yes. Uh, well it's a case of obviously you're solely kind of reliant on um, you know chemical cleaning going through it it's a case of with the immersion chiller uh, you know you, you could give it a scrub if you wanted um, you know with this one you're running chemicals through it and you just go right is it clean is it clean okay we're getting the, the, the water's running through clear run it through with sanitizer run it through with your cleaning chemicals first obviously but it's a case of does it make the uh, the cool down quicker yes it does so they're the two main changes to the actual brewery. Um, it's a case of, uh, I can't remember if I've got any videos of the new control panel. Um, it's a case of that's in place. Works most of the time, the uh, <laughs> temperature probes are a little bit off, uh, but it's a case of, I kind of work all of that out kind of on the day, kind of making sure I've got other, other thermometers to check what the temperature of things are so that's the main thing in the brewery um, it's a case of there's something else in the garage that I put together that uh, I think just made my life so much easier since uh, since starting the, the uh, old brewing journey and uh, I'll show you that in a bit and this is it this is uh, the new sink that I've uh, put in the garage it's a case of uh, Previously, my garage did have a sink, it was this little piddly thing right here. And although it was very useful for the likes of cleaning your paintbrushes, it had no real use in the brewery. Um, so it's a case of I replumbed in this new sink. Um, it's a case of had some uh, pieces of work surface from other, other bits. So it's a case of was able to utilize that and I'll put in this bad boy. It's a case of um, really has made life that much easier. Nice deep sink, nice and sizable. So much easier also to fill up your, 
your, your juggling bits and pieces. I mean, yes, I know there are no doors, but they wanted to charge us a little extra like 40 quid for uh, for the doors. And I was like, I don't need them. I don't need them. So uh, it's a case of, yeah, we've got this bad boy and really happy with it. It's made the likes of cleaning things a lot easier. And uh, yeah, just made life that much better. So that's about it with regards to changes to the brewery since uh, the last videos. You can go through the uh, the archive if you want to have a little a bit of a look, see what I had before. Um, there's still plenty of things that we're going to be changing in the future. Keep on progressing. In this case, as I mentioned, if I want to go up the size in my uh, in my batches, I might have to get a bigger uh, boil kettle. Um, and that also leads on to changes with regards to my fermentation method. Currently just using the uh, fermentation fridge down here, which you know fits a standard uh, five gallon barrel, not a problem. But it's a case if I'm going to be uh, upping the batch or uh, having to be looking into a different methods. Uh, you know, it's a case of, I don't like to compare myself to, to anyone in particular, but it's a case of, um, I might be stealing some uh, some ideas from old Harry Brew 69. In any case, I will uh, continue to film other bits and pieces to uh, show you what's going on, and uh, hopefully you'll enjoy this video and the other ones that I start posting. Take it easy, guys.